Halloween bookish elves. It's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to another vlog. Today I have an exciting video for you because we are going book shopping at the biggest, at least as far as I know, the biggest bookshop in Tokyo, which is called Junkudo. Junkudo at Ikibukura Station. So if you ever come to Tokyo, you know where to go to explore books, if you're interested. <laughs> so let's go, I will show you around and we will buy some book. I plan on buying one book, I don't know which, just I want to choose one book, which will excite me, <laughs> which I, I will be interested in. So let's go! Get scratching. And we are here, guys. The store was honestly huge it had nine floors so if you want to find the english section it will be on the ninth floor and there as you can tell i found a lot of studio ghibli manga and just books so for example this totoro my neighbor totoro i never thought that you could find it in a book format but apparently you can and i don't know i'm still thinking whether i should get it or not Hill Pullman and then this book I'm still thinking about it it seems it looks I like the cover I genuinely really like the cover but I just don't know what it's about if someone read this book please let me know the librarian of Auschwitz really want to read it as well but not this time probably they also had house moving castle I think they had like three or five rows of English books so it's quite a lot not the biggest collection but quite a lot still thinking about Librarian of Auschwitz but I didn't get it this time I'm kind of nervous about this book because I know it would be very emotional and hard to read so I'm not sure whether I want to read it or not and then here you can see just collection of the books that they had they had a lot of YA they had a lot of mystery books classics they had quite a good collection of classics fantasy as well so you can see Hobbit by Tolkien you can see Fire and Blood 
a big collection of classics. I also found The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco, of course. I was very happy to find it, and actually I was surprised because they had quite a few of his books. You can see Prague Cemetery, The Name of the Rose, The Island of the Day Before, and a couple of others. Yes, I like him. I was thinking about getting this book, Baudolino. I've never heard of it, but I'm sure it should be good. The synopsis also sounded really interesting. And you can see some of the modern classics, such as Flowers for Elderon, The Unbearable Lightness of Being. They actually had a very good selection of books, and I honestly wanted to buy everything. I found Kazuo Tsiguro, I'm not sure, Ishiguro, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but... I also, the person who wrote Don't Let Me Go, really want to re read some of his books. I was really conflicted about which book should I buy. I also wanted Pachinko, Pachinko, but yeah, not today. There were so many good books, <laughs> it was very hard to choose. Catcher in the Ray, also really liked this edition of Little Kingdoms. Never read this book, but just the book looks beautiful. The Tale of Genji. Again, never read, but just sounds really good. Actually, they had a lot of good Japanese literature translated into English. So that's something that I would like to look into and to read. And I honestly wanted to buy all of the books, but you know, um, means are limited. So I came to buy just one and I was struggling to choose just one. But yeah, it was a good shopping. I also found some Russian classics, of course, War and the Peace by Leo Tolstoy and also Anna Karenina by the same author. And also on some other shelf I found Master and Margarita, so they even had Russian classics, which I think is very cool. If I had a thousand tongues, I would sing with everyone. Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful Never understood But life can I would launch a thousand ships Just to be about your lips Tell them all to sail away Just to see you every day Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful I'm home, so let me show you the book that I've got. I am very excited because I haven't read Umberto Eco in like forever, so I'm very excited to pick like next one of his books. Oh, by the way, when you, I like it, I like it so much. Actually, in Russia, it has never happened to me. Like, when you buy a book in this shop, they give you like a dust jacket. You see, this, this is the name of the shop, by the way, if you're interested, Junkudo. And they, it's, I guess it's for paperbacks, probably not for hardcovers, but they give you this dust jacket and it's just so neat, so it, and it it's just keeps your book from damages. I have got this book. 
and the name is Baudolino, Baudolino or Baudolino. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's a book about Byzantine, set in Constantinople, like in the end, I guess, of its existence. This is the time when Byzantia is attacked by um, crusaders, and so this our main character saves a historian and an official of the city, and yeah, the story just told by him. And yeah, it's ro the author is Umberto Eco, one of my favorite authors, and he's a brilliant historian as well. So I am excited about this book, and also I really like this cover. I feel like it's a very uh, kind of Middle Ages cover. I don't know, I just really like the simplicity of it. I will end this video here. Thank you very much for watching Boogie Shells. I wish you to have a wonderful, beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Thank you, bye!